rosy lips, Gina. Hmm? She said they called her Rose, not rosy lips. Here we go. I did not read that fast <laughs> enough. I don't know what. Ooh. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> if I remember right, after this, her husband comes out whenever you, you try and get the okay. fancy car. Mm. He just kind of spits on it. He's not as into it. Ooh, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Come again. Windows up. I'll give you the special service every time yeah. from now on. See ya. Again, Zach, that was some aggressive car washing. <laughs> One way Man, uh, the front, uh, the front left of our car is really clean. I never want to go through that again. Well, it's okay. You can't go through that again. I don't think. And a lollipop. To her up that on trophy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's a card right there. Go get the card. First, we gotta do this. Yeah, the next, the next sub quest, you have to get her husband to come out. But it's random which one comes out. Hmm. Her? It's her sponge. <laughs> oh, a dog! Get the dog. Get the, Get the dog, dumpster. Sir. Uh -huh. The hell was that noise? Dog coughing up a hairball. Get the dumpster. <laughs> that was dog barfing. Yeah, all right. That's a normal dog. Not <sighs> He's gonna push this until he gets it. Instead of coming back later when he's actually... When the game is designed for him to do it. Normal order of things, he's met her and, and her husband before he comes to the gas station. But he's doing some stuff out of order. Doing all the tedious stuff out of order. Well, I'm certainly glad we're getting to watch it all, all here without any editing. Out and in. Aha. Here we go. Now oh, we'll get something to happen. Her husband, Hulk Hogan, is on the way. These are assless chaps. Oh. Man. Oh, that's that's a good one. You from out of town? I ain't seen you here before. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. A cop? What about the FBI? Shut up! <laughs> At least give me your name. <laughs> I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. No, they That's don't. a manly nickname. <laughs> Shut it! If you're a customer, act like one and shut the mouth. Uh, <laughs> that acting like that customers? That implies open up the something else. Yo. Now he's gonna go back and forth a few times because yeah, because he's like, I have a hundred dollars, goddammit. Now he's bribing him for information now, but she can't help. I feel like we need some like stock conversation points to get through these scenes. I know. You feel you feel overall the Twin Peaks was sexist, where the female character is much weaker than the men overall. Okay, damn it, here he comes. <laughs> Save that. I'm sure we'll need it. It's called the Heaven and Hell gas station. I never noticed that. Hmm. Jack, here's the Ben Franklin you wanted. Give it to me. I'm gonna roll down the window. 
This is this is a sub quest. Can you give him the hundred dollars? Sort of stands there pulsing. And... Hey there, Benjamin. I wanted to talk to you. Have you heard <laughs> this yet? I'll tell you another one when I see you again. What the hell did that say? Do you have a dark gun something? Um, at one of the bars that you can do enter a little uh, dart competition, and if you win, you get a prize. Ah. You do not need to talk to Jack Zach, to find did yourself. You see that? It was it as if we weren't place. here. I wonder what that was all about. Did it make sense to you? Get the thing! It would be funnier if he had said that to us while Raging Bull was right there. <laughs> yes. I agree. Uh, some cars do better on rough terrain than others. They've all got different qualities. This one slows down quite a lot on the rough terrain. It's like women. Some of them do better on rough terrain than others. Uh, I'd like the Trump makeover there. <laughs> I was gonna let that go by without comment. Yeah. So the uh, so the women on Twin Peaks are they? Do, they do I think weak? they, they uh, seem, that Twin yeah. Peaks uh, treats the female characters in a sexist way? Zach, is there something well, here that you want to check out? We're supposed sure. to go through Anna Graham's file. There's definitely a. If you want to act kind of, on a hunch, then I'm with you. Sort of pretty women exist for the pleasure of men is, is something that sort of exists. It was just, I'm, I'm watching it with a friend, and she had just kind of pointed out that the, the men in it are so interesting and dynamic, and the women are all kind of either, like, victim or uh, you, you hate them, you know? Yeah. I mean, Laura, I think, is the most interesting female character in the whole run. Um, uh... But, I I really like Audrey, and I, I agree Lara is the most interesting. But I like Audrey, and I like Anna. But overall, I think that yeah, I mean like, and I, I like uh, totally blanking on her name, the uh, diner owner. Um, you know, oh big Ed, goodness. secret sweetheart. Yeah, big secret. And and I even like Nadine. Uh, I like but, Nadine. She she's she's. A lot of the characters have some interesting uh, backstory and character. Um, some more than others. Some also, you have to read the books to know about. <laughs> like I also I also really love. Uh, really, I, I feel like we know most of Josie's backstory from it, but uh, I also really love Heidi. I'm so glad that Heidi is coming back. Oh, is she? Oh, yeah. too busy jumpstarting the old man, huh? I got. <laughs> Oh, good. I, I hope she, like, owns the diner now or something. Norma, that's the... That's the yeah. I, I, I like Norma, but but I do agree that overall they all kind of fall into that pool, either, you know, victim or, uh, or like, God, I hate you, you know? So, where shall we go next? Definitely not the sheriff's office. I mean, that would be crazy. And everybody's beautiful, but, I mean, that's kind of a David Lynch thing overall. They're no ordinary looking people unless the way they look is part of a joke, kind of. Really? You feel that way? Because I, I mean, I, I think it's a lot of fairly ordinary looking people. I mean, like Truman, uh, Pete, uh, the uh, uh, the log lady. I mean, there are a lot of people. Okay. Who... Yeah, that's, that's fair. Like, Machin Amik is way too pretty for the character she's playing. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. But, uh,. And of course, there's Hollywood casting for the high school teenagers. <laughs> I hope the guy that break dances across the hall in, in the beginning of the, the pilot. I hope he comes back. I don't think he's named. I, I oh don't man, know. I don't even remember that. But it, it, he just break dances across the hall in the background while uh, Audrey and uh, um, Donna probably. Don and Donna are talking. Hmm. I, I've not seen anyone identify him. Got it. 
but I, I love the like the the little weird background characters. I, I, I like him. I like the the hunchback seamstress at Blackie's. Uh, the uh, the diner patrons. Uh, the, the, yeah. The Toad. old lady, Toad, and the the old lady who kind of has a mustache. Um, <laughs> Oh, oh, is this the sheriff's office? It's the oh. diner. Shit. Speaking of diner. Coffee. It's my favorite Pokemon. Coffee? <laughs> Coffee. Can't talk to them yet. Hey, suspect. How you doing? Agent Francis York Morgan. <laughs> and you are? You imagine a, an agent just sort of wandering around town talking to random people, having no idea if they're related to the case or not? Yeah. It's one way to go about it, I guess. Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? You're the only makes one as much who's sense ever said that other than throwing my rocks at bottles. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. There's that famous singer too, isn't there? from the 70s. She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Huh? That's it. Newton John. Olivia Newton-John. You know of her, right? She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, too. Personally, I really liked Xanadu back in 1980. She played a cute fan <laughs> that just looked amazingly stunning. It's hard to believe That's she was... That's kind of how I look when he's talking, too. Right, Zach? Yeah. Um... Sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? That's a shame. You should watch it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love your name. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, Olivia, do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. I can't believe she ran at 80 watts. She ever look worried or anxious? <laughs> no. Not really. I just... I, I can't believe it, really. I'm never going to see her again, am I? She was here with us. So happy and energetic just a few days ago. She and I... We were getting all excited over some new dessert. Thank you, then. <laughs> if you remember anything else, let me know. It was lobster. That really wasn't, like, a worthwhile conversation at all. At all. Oh, that's what happens when you talk to these people too early Hi in there. the story. <laughs> it's definitely is a diner. That is true. Bet he's gonna buy a worm. Mm. Turkey. Mm. Made it just standing there at the counter. Yeah, well, she fixed it pretty fast, too. I assume he just stared at her while she made it. Yes. And a Hi there. slightly swaying. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Can if you're FBI. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No. Get the hell out of here. Her hair. Zack, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. I don't care how aren't suspects. I don't care how cool your scar is. Get the hell out. <laughs> Learn suspects? How does he know? He has a suspect sense. Suspicion. Yay, worms. It's like an eggplant uh, sandwich disguising itself as a turkey sandwich. I want something to come from Josie's demise. In the new series. Even just a passing mention. Someone's hero seems haunted. <laughs> Lily. Ah, shit, it's only noon. 
Yeah, we've, we've packed a lot in them this morning. I swear it would have taken me this long to get to the uh, sheriff's station if I were trying to get there on time. <laughs> yes. I spent a little time kind of wheeling around the map, not being able to find where Was that Ferry Street back there? Maybe. Look in the mailbox. Hey, anybody home? I want to come in and break your ceramic pots. I think one of you must be a suspect. Oh, I'm right. I'm Quint. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. It's what everyone calls me. Not true. York? Sounds like a last name. Like Michael I'm York. Star of the Austin Powers, Powers movie. It's called Swear Co star, I guess. How'd you like the town? Oh, it's great. Aside from the murder that happened here. Yeah, the town is great, aside Mark from the murder. fit with a small uh, town like ours. Well, Richard I feel like we're building up that. to this darts game more than Crimes we're building up to signs. killed on a gram. <laughs> Big town, small town, just isn't a factor. Huh? I guess you're right. I so, don't really care. How did you know Anna? Well, I've known her since she was a child. She was the same age as my son. You know, she always stood out, being pretty and all. Just like her mother, Sally. You seem to know a lot. That's not a lot. How long have you been in love with her? <laughs> hey, hey, don't go there. That scar of yours tells me you got your hands full too, right? Let's not dive into personal matters. It'll be better for you and me. You're right, Richard. What does that even mean? Collecting huh? gossip won't help with the matter at hand. Actually, collecting gossip in a murder investigation seems like it would help. It's kind of what you do. Gee, you don't even know whose house this is yet. Well, we assume it's Richard's, right? It's not, though. Dun-dun-dun. In this house. What, do you know what you're doing, Geekmeister? This person. Everyone in this house is a suspect. Anna, where are you going? Don't leave me. I was just gonna say, I think this song needs some uh, work, but it's 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 <laughs> you know, but the the feeling you is there. there. Do you know where Anna is? I think she's in the Anna, morgue now. My dear Anna. So Anna tree. Last later. time we saw her, but I don't think we'll get anything out of her likeness. No, you stupid agent! I brought you here. You have to interrogate her. I'd like to ask you some questions Damn straight. about Anna. Anna. Oh, why did she have to die? Because someone stabbed her in the belly. She was so happy, so full of life. Less full Anna. now. She loved that dress in the picture so much. Oh, now you're going weird. She looked so pretty in it, but now she won't be able to wear it again. Well, yes. she could wear it again. Dress. They generally do put I clothes on the body. That dress. Too many open that casket dress. nudist um, funerals. Her dress. Where is it? See now I won't. Without it, I. She looked so pretty when she wore it for prom. And everyone will she be required to make a joke about the stiff. That night. So why did she? Where's that dress? Where? <laughs> Zach, I was wrong. Let's keep questioning her. This is hot. I don't think we'll get much more out of her like this. Maybe if we find the dress and bring it to her, she'll calm down enough to talk. Yeah, that's how grief look. That's how grief works. Massaging your scalp. 